Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It is 9 a.m. Mountain Time. I'm so pleased to go back to my normal time slot. Um, when I first started doing Facebook Lives every morning, Monday to Friday, <laughs> I would go live at 9 o'clock. And then my daughter's schedule changed last year and I had to change it. So we're back now. We're back to the 9 a.m. time slot. So thank you all for popping in and joining me this morning. Um, I see some of you are popping on. Feel free to say hi. Let me know where you're joining me from. I love to hear from you guys. I want to thank you all for all your your wonderful comments yesterday on the card and the catalog. You guys are excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> um, and this all about Autumn Sweet. So I want to mention, um, I mentioned this yesterday, but I'll just reiterate again today. Um, there are like the ribbon and the DSP and the bling are not available right now, but they will be back, right? They will be back. So don't put the sweet number in. It will tell you that it's not available. But what I always like to focus on is the bundle, okay? So the stamps and the dies are available. And I always like to focus on what's available, right? Because I don't want to tease you guys to show you something that you can get. <laughs> so there is a link at the bottom of my video that has a host code that links you to my Canadian shopping store. So if you are in Canada and you would like to purchase any of these products, please reach out to me or follow the link and let me know. When you click the link, if you are a demonstrator, you will definitely want to make sure, if you're gonna shop with me to get my free cards in the mail, you wanna make sure that when you check out that it indeed has the host code attached. Um, at the little checkout box, you'll see there's a little shopping cart. It's tiny, uh, but it's there. <laughs> in the top right-hand corner, it'll say, you are shopping with Rose Coleman. And there's a spot to put the um, host code. Now that host code should be there if you use the link at the bottom of this video. If not, reach out to me and I can send it along to you or you can screen capture when I flip the camera. It will be on the on my desk here. So that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's the host code you want to use to get my four card packages in the mail for the cards I'm making this week. I am super excited about today's card. It's a fun fold and it is, um, I'm going to teach you today a new technique not new, maybe it's new to you. Um, this is one that I've kind of forgotten about. It's called partial um, cutting, okay? So partial cutting, and you're probably thinking, why would you wanna partially cut something? Well, <laughs> let me share with you with the, with the card today. Uh, hi, Karen, thanks for being my neighbor. Hmm, Karen, are we neighbors? <laughs> um, good morning, TJ. Hello, hello, hi, Janet. Good morning, everyone. Yes, indeed. It is a great morning here. It's kind of overcast here today in uh, Calgary, but you know what? It's cooler temperatures and I'm enjoying it. Anybody else having some nice cooler temperatures? I love the heat. Don't get me wrong, but it's I love fall because you get that refreshing coolness. You get that refreshing um, start, right? I always say September and January are great start months. Like you start a fresh schedule, fresh calendar, the kids are back in school, people are getting back to routine. I am all about routine, you guys, all about routine. <laughs> okay, I see you guys popping on. Hi, Rosemary from Much Cooler Day in Southern Ontario. Yes, yes, exactly. So nice. All right, I want to say shout out to my new team members, people that have joined my team in the last little while. Welcome, welcome. If you have gone inactive, you can come on back. It's the best time of the Stampin' Up! year to join. Well, it's always a good time of year to join, right? It's a, The starter kit is a be, the best deal, the best deal, hands down, to get everything on your wish list, right? And some people are like, well, what is the starter kit you talk about all the time? Well, it's whatever you want. You get to shop and you get to pick $165 of whatever you want. And you don't pay shipping or tax, except for, I think uh, there's a couple of provinces you may have to, if you have a provincial tax, that's different. For shipping is is free. I mean, when is shipping free? I mean, we, is, we have to take advantage of this whenever we can, right? So it's $165, whatever you want but you only pay $135. That's all your credit card will be charged. And you're going to fill this box full of stuff you want. And then here's the best part. You're going to get a discount on all of your purchases going forward. Like, sweet. No wonder people want to join. <laughs> no wonder. I wish I could join again. I always say that. I always say that. 
All right, $135, I mean, you know, for to start this stamping hobby and then to get everything at a discount afterwards. If you have a huge wish list, my friends, this is the best way to join. All right, uh, morning, Kathy. You have to get used to me starting at nine. Yep, I'm starting at nine a little earlier now. But the replay's always here. You can always come back and watch the replay. All right, here we go. We're gonna flip the camera, get started. Good morning, Melanie from Redcliffe. Good to see you with me. All right, here we go. We're gonna flip the camera. Okay, swoop, <laughs> swoop you down here to my work surface. There's that host code I was just talking about. Um, you wanna jot that down or you can use the link that's featured at the bottom of this video. If you are interested in getting anything you see today or anything from the annual catalog. Now, we cannot forget about the annual catalog. That's still current. That's still live. But right now, this week on September 6th, this new catalog here went live. So it's all about the mini right now. <laughs> you know, it's the new and exciting things, right? Hi, Joy. Good morning. Okay. I'm playing with this bundle this week. The Autumn Leaves Bundle. Item code 162186. It's 76.50. Love it. Love it. Here it is in real life. It is photopolymer and it is awesome. Oh my gosh, we're going to play with this today. The dies are stunning, you guys. You have a die for all of your stamped images. I'm just going to put these on here. So you've got dies for all of these. Now, these, I'm putting the die on the outside of the case. It probably looks too big. It says here in small print that the images are 80% because they want to fit it on this little, um, the front, right? So that's why. But you do have a die to cut out each of these stamped images. And then you have two label dies, right? Janice says your favorite set for fall. Yes, mine too. I can't stop thinking about all the beautiful cards I want to make with this one. Okay, so we also have um, these light leaves up here. I've loved that Stampin' Up! has given us two of every style. We've got a couple over here. Let me just grab my other dies. I got them off to the side. We've got little ones here. Look at all the leaves. I mean, it's so amazing what they've given us. They've given us these detailed dies, which are like the veins. Thank you all for helping me with that word the other day. <laughs> these are the veins of our leaves, right? So we've got the stamps that you can just play with the stamps if you want, but why not get the dies? It's 10% off when you buy the bundle, right? So we're gonna play with these today. And I'm going to share also, I haven't touched on the this die right here and this one right here. These are going to leave little impressions in your die, in your cardstock. So that's really fun. All right. So let's put this off to the side and we'll bring in the pieces that I need for my card. Okay. So we are going to play with, again, Pretty Peacock. I love, yes, Debbie, two sets of the leaves dies. Yes. Because if you're making a fall autumn card, you know, you need lots and lots of leaves, right? Let's just raise this up a little bit so you can see more of my work surface. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a full sheet of Pretty Peacock. I don't have this one made. I can't show you ahead of time, guys. So we're going to make this one together. I have it in my brain. <laughs> and we're going to just go with it and hopefully it'll all work out. So we're going to take the cardstock, we're going to pop it into the trimmer. We're going to cut it at four and a quarter down with the long side. All right, so you get two cards out of one sheet of cardstock. Love, love, love that. We're going to then pop that back into, I love this color too, Joyce. Such a beautiful color. Pop it back into the trimmer, and now I'm going to use my light gray scoring tool, and I'm going to score in the middle at five and a half. And I'm also going to score at two and three quarters. So flip it around. We need two score lines on that side. So two and three quarters. So if I'm going left to right, we've got a two and three quarters and a five and a half. So this is my half mark. And then we've got another half mark. Okay. Easy peasy. So this is going to be a partial, partial die cut easel card. Okay. So we're doing partial die cutting today. So we're going to take this card base now and I bring in my big boss because we have to use the big boss because it's the right width for a full card. Um, so you definitely want to use your big one for this one. So I'm just reinforcing these score lines and 
oops, <laughs> flipped off to the side. <laughs> and you want to just like really reinforce your score lines, even the, the middle one. So I'm folding them one way and then back again. Back again. Hi, Mary Jo. Yes, happy Friday. <laughs> happy Friday to you. Okay, so I've reinforced these score lines a few times here. And now we're going to bring in my big boss. But first, let me share with you the dies I'm going to use. I'm using Countryside Corners dies. Oh my goodness, these are stunning. So there are, how many? Seven, I think. Yes, it's a set of seven. All right, so let me bring those in and show you. We've got a big one. We're going to use the biggest one first. Then we've got um, six additional ones here, and they are all layering dies. So here they are. See if I can get them all stacked properly so you can see all the different layers. Do you guys have this one yet? Oh, this came out in the annual catalog in May, and it was, it's been a must-have for sure, a keeper in my collection. <laughs> so here are all the layers. Lots of possibilities. You got a cute little banner and you've got another one here for the greeting, but I'm not going to use that one. It would work today, but I'm going to use the greeting one that came with the autumn autumn leaves bundle because it's so it's stitched and it works. So it's the one I'm talking about is this one right here. It came with the autumn leaves. You can see the stitching. So we're going to use the countryside, yes, countryside corners dies. And we're gonna use the biggest one first, okay, to do our partial die cutting. So let me bring in my platform, my machine, and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna put it, my machine um, here, and we've got our cutting platforms, uh, the layering. We've got number one, number two, you need that for cutting. You need a number three plate on the bottom, right? So that's our, our layering. I like to line up these numbers. You see the numbers, the circular in the circle. So one, two, three. All right. Make sure they're all lined up. Put that down on your platform. And then, then your extra one, your second clear plate will also have a number three. Okay. So we're going to put the card. I'm, I'm actually going to slide this part, the back of the card into the machine. Okay. And then I'm going to take my die and I'm going to put it on the front of the card. And I want to center it as best that I can. So I'm looking at the sides and the top and bottom, just centering that. I've got a little sticky note here ready to go. I'm going to put that on. Actually, I'll put one on this side. And, you know, if you really want to make sure it stays put, you can add a second one. Let's grab another one. Let me grab another sticky note. You can use post-it note tape. You can use washi tape, whatever you have on hand. Okay, so like the main thing is you want to make sure that this die stays put. Okay. All right. Let's see. <laughs> that side is not going to work. I got to grab another one. Okay, so we're going to put this one over here. And then I'm going to bring in my cutting plate. Now, the, here's, the, here's the part you want to remember. I'm going to slide this in, and I'm going to line up the edge, can you see that? I've got the edge of this top plate right at the edge of my score line there, okay? So I only wanna cut to the right, okay? So now I'm gonna give it a little gentle nudge with my thumb, move this into the machine, and when, it's, when it catches the rollers that are underneath this center panel, I'm going to put my hand up top and I'm going to roll and roll and it will only cut where this clear plate is so it's not going to cut this back part because there's no clear plate on top it needs the sandwich okay there we go let's see if this worked out let me see all right let's pull this off of the machine and we'll get started okay so first things first pull off the sticky notes and put my die back with the countryside corners. Okay, so that, see what happened? I only got the top portion cut, not the bottom, and that's what I wanted. So when you fold the card in half, then you have this piece that is sticking up. There's a whole lot of stuff you could do with this, you guys. You could, you could have a card, a side opening card with a flap like that. You could, well, what I'm gonna do is gonna be an easel. Okay, so it's going to stand. This is going to be my background for my easel, right? Thanks, Barbara. Yeah, partial die cutting. So depending on where you put your score line, 
that's where you put your top clear plate and it will only cut out a portion, okay? So you could do this, oh, my mind is blown by this kind of technique because you could use any of your dies, your circles, your, you know, you name it and you can, and can do partial die cutting. Okay, so now let's move on to the fun stuff. Um, I've got from the countryside corners dies. I've cut the next layer. It's all about the layering, right? I've cut this layer here. This is copper clay. So that's the next size. That's going to go right here. Okay. You learned something new, Gabby? Good. Oh, you know what? You just made my day because that is my goal is to teach you guys something new and simple. Such a very simple technique and you can use this on all of your card making. Okay, we're gonna put this on here, all right? And then I have another one because the Countryside Corners has all the layers, right? So this is gonna go on the front and I'm keeping this card as simple as I can so I'm not gonna do anything with this but just layer it down. Look at that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do Oh, I forgot to do one part. That's okay. So remember I was talking about the from the autumn leaves, this die right here. We're going to grab that. And we're going to put that on the inside. And I want to add a little strip here at the bottom. Now this die, even though it, it, it kind of looks like a, a die that will cut out, there's no edge on it. So it's just these, I don't know if the camera can focus, but it's just these little tiny pin, pin dots. I'll call them pin dots. But we're going to cut that. I just want to add, add that little bit of accent to my card. So I'm going to bring back my machine. And you want to keep the same layering as you do for die cutting because that is this is a die cut, right? So we're going to use this layering. We're just going to put the die right here at the bottom. And you can actually angle it. The machine actually likes it better when the rollers hit your dies on an angle. I'm not sure why, but trust me, it does work better if you hit at an angle. So if you can angle it a little bit, go for it. Um, but this one's not going to cut. Like it's just going to do little, little indentations so or little cuts. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so we're just going to put our sticky note. Put both of them on because you don't want a crooked line. You went through the trouble of doing this. You want to make sure it's straight. All right, got that. And we're just going to roll that through. Okay. And we're only going to go to the die. That's it. We don't need to go all the way through, right? If you put st stuff up to close to the wheel, the, the rollers, then you don't need to go all the way through. Dry embossing. Yes, exactly. It's like dry embossing, um, TJ, but it actually does cut. You see this? See the back, the front? And I don't know if you can tell from the lighting, but that actually, you can see my hands, my fingers behind it. That actually, there we go. I think the camera's focusing there. It gives all those little pin dots. Isn't that a fun technique? Fun um, effect. So then that's going to be on the inside of my card. There's another stamp, uh, uh, sorry, not stamp. There's another die in the set will do, that will do that as well. This one right here. I didn't use that one this week, but you could totally use that on your card as well as the long one, okay? So I wanted to show you all of the features of this bundle because that's what it's about, right? All of the features. Okay, now we'll put my machine off to the side. Now I'm gonna do, um, we're gonna do something else. Okay, what are we doing now? <laughs> all right, so we've got the card base like this. I'm gonna bring in, there's one of my leaves. I'm gonna bring in my leaves now. So I've cut out of cardstock and I've embossed them. So using the dies, I'll show you which ones I use. I use the big one, the big maple leaf, this one here, the double leaf, and the, I believe someone said it's an oak, oak leaf. Um, I cut those out. Then my friends, I pop them into the folder. Now this is a part of the suite as well, but you wanna item code, put your item code in separate for this. So you're gonna wanna get the bundle. This is the die. Uh, the embossing folder, it's called Distressed Tile. So I just cut the leaves out and then I took the leaves, pretend it's not embossed, and I laid them in here. Ran it through the machine and then they come out with this amazing, amazing texture. See that? Love it. Okay, so we're gonna use those. But there's another die, another few dies that I have not used this week. So I wanna share with you what they look like. <laughs> 
it's all about using up the stuff I haven't sh shown you yet this week. Okay, you see these ones here? The veins. We're going to play with the veins today. So we've got these dies. And also in the bundle or in the suite, there's this paper right here. And it's called the Oxidized Copper DSP. The item code for that is 162190, and it is absolutely stunning. Now, what I've done is I've taken adhesive sheet. And I was going to go ahead and do this before I went on camera. And I'm like, no, no, no. I want to show them how I handle my adhesive sheets. Adhesive sheets are sold in a package like this. Okay, so you get... Um, 12 sheets in a package. It'll last you a very long time. And it's six. each sheet is 6 by 12. And let me show you how you handle these. When you open the sheet, you have, there's three panels. And they've put the wax paper, let me just show you. It's creased, so you can actually come in here and you pull up each one. Okay, so if you only want to do a little teeny tiny piece, you can, only, you can pull this back and just expose... Um, just a small bit of the adhesive. Now this is right here, when I pull back this panel, that right there that I'm pointing at, that is all adhesive. The entire sheet is full of adhesive. So you can essentially make your own stickers, okay? So what I've done is I cut my um, oxidized DSP. Um, this one, I think it's three by six. This one's two by six. And I stuck it down. So that's stuck. It's not going anywhere. It's stuck on that adhesive. I don't cut these pieces off. I leave them so that I can have something to pull on next time, okay? So I'm, I just crease them like this. And then what I do, I'm going to bring in my machine. I'm going to put, because they're six inches, somebody did the homework, right? They did, did their math. The platform is six inches wide, so you don't have to worry. So I'm going to take the vein leaf like that, put that, that on there, and my two smaller ones I'm going to put on the copper, okay? And I was looking at this, and you know, when you only get two sheets of something very special like this oxidized paper, I want to use up every little inch of it, right? So I was looking at this, and I'm like, okay, I see a gap here and a gap here. Let, what else can I cut? Because <laughs> you want to you use, you know, get good value. So I'm bringing in these two small leaves. I'm going to put one here and I'm going to put one here and we're going to have some nice fun leaves that are all going to be, um, you know, the, I love the pretty peacock, right? I want to bring that through. So now we'll go ahead and put the top layer on and we're going to cut these. I wanted to show you the details of the adhesive sheets because they are definitely valuable, right? Okay, so we're going to put this on, making sure you know, something moved. That's okay. Back it up. This one moved. I want to make sure that's not going to do that. So bring in your post-it notes again, right? And just kind of lay one on top, and it'll save yourself some grief. Let's see. We'll hold on to these ones, and we'll do that. There. Okay, stay put, everybody. Here we go. We're going to roll this through. And there. Okay. So again, I'm just going to go to there. That's the way, that's as far as my dies go. And I'll go back. All right. Now we're done. Okay. So I hope you guys, um, you know, I, I, I could have done this ahead of time to save some time. But I'm like, no, I want to show them the features of the adhesive sheets. Okay. So let's take off the sticky notes. Whoop. There's my, so the, this leaf die already has it stuck inside. That's okay. And we'll grab this one and this one. And now what I'm going to do is, um, I'm actually going to keep that on there. So you can take this, you can put your wax paper, fold it back up. You can slide it back into your packaging. And next time you want a couple of small leaves, you can just come in here and I will definitely be using them up. Right, I've got a couple of spots over here where I can get some more small leaves and good value. Okay, but we just want the dies for today. Oh, I lost one of my dies. I know I put a small leaf on there. Okay, let's bring that back. <laughs> oh, there it is. It was stuck to my it was stuck to my post-it note. Whew, that was a good one. That was a good um, <laughs> catch. Okay, so let's pop these out. Now, these are essentially stickers, my friends. They're stickers. They already have the adhesive on the back. 
If you are a scrapbooker, this is life-changing for your letters, <laughs> right? I love it. Okay, so I'm just going to pop all these out like that and just put my dies back just one at a time here. But these will add beautiful accents to those leaves that I've already die cut and embossed. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Because as I mentioned, I don't have my sample card done. You guys are seeing it live here. Okay, so let's bring back the card and my leaves. So we're going to peel off the backing and we're gonna put these on. Let's move, you know what? My silicone mat, that's what I need. Let me grab my silicone mat and we're just gonna put these leaves down. And if you have trouble getting the backing off, you can use either your fingernail or you can use your take your pick tool to help get the backing off. We're gonna see, can I do it with my fingernail? Probably. Yes, and once you get one little piece, it'll just all peel off, right? Just like that. So there's the garbage, that's the wax. Now this leaf is completely sticky. So let's go ahead and put that onto the maple leaf, like so. There, and you just tap it down. Voila, we got one leaf, I love it. Ooh. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Okay, let's add our copper ones to the other leaves. So we've got this one. Here is the double leaf. So we'll come in here. Now, if you don't have adhes adhesive sheets, no worries. You could still do this technique or not. It's, it's not really a technique, but you can still do this with glue. You could flip your, your die cut over and add your glue to the little spiny vines but it would just take you a little more time that's all let's see this one was giving me a little bit <laughs> it's it knows we're on camera that's why it's like no nah, i don't think i want to today here we go come on get your take your pick tool in there maybe if i lay it down let's try that <laughs> okay come on come on sticky note Okay, there. Once you get one hook, you're good. Okay, let's pull that off. Whoop, there. Okay, and then this one's going on to my Crush Curry embossed leaf. <gasps> Look at that. All right, so I might as well go ahead and pull these ones off too. And then they're ready to go. Because, you know, you can put anything sticky on your um, silicone mat and you can pick it up later because the silicone mat resists anything actually sticking to it permanently love my silicone mat all right come on <laughs> um believe me the adhesive sheets are still worth it even though i'm just like having trouble here getting this off it's just because i'm on camera you guys know the drill right <laughs> if something's gonna happen it's gonna be when i'm live that's just how it works so you gotta like, just roll with it okay there we go. I've got all my wax off. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this down. Let's see. I'm going to put the, um, hmm, maybe we'll do, okay. So let's put this one up here. I got to get glue on the back of that now. I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. You got to put glue on it, Rose. Seriously. <laughs> you got glue on the veins, but you got to put glue on the actual uh, leaf as well. So you want to make sure that your leaf is not going over the opening because this is going to sit up like this. So I might as well just open it up and then put these pieces on. So I'm gonna put this one like so. And then this one, I could either tuck it. No, you know what I'm gonna do? I wanna stamp now. So let's bring in the stamp set. On the front of my card, there's some white space down here that I wanna stamp. Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. So let's bring in Pretty Peacock ink. We're gonna tie everything together here. And we're gonna stamp Pretty Peacock. Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. And we're gonna stamp that right down here at the bottom. So get that in place before I position my other leaves. All right, oh, I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, so this one, if it's too big, you can always bring your scissors in and you can make it smaller. 
right? You can just take a little snip here and cut these in half. All right, so then you could put, I could probably tuck one, oh yes, I'm gonna tuck one back there and then maybe I'll put one over here because I wanna make sure I don't cover up my greeting, right? Actually, let's put one down here. Yeah, okay. And if that vein is too long, you can always cut it off too, if it's bugging you, right? I'm just gonna, I think I'll snip this one and we'll just turn it around and we'll just lift up and tuck that in right there. I'll lift this one because I didn't put any glue on it. Okay. Ooh, I'm loving this so far. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness. All the parts of this beautiful, beautiful suite are so amazing. Now I wanna put this, this one is gonna go like this. So let's trim off that vein right there. And this one I kinda wanted to leave it because it is kinda cool, but I don't think I'm gonna see it when I put, oh, we could do it like that. Leave it like that, okay. Okay, so let's add our glue to this leaf and we'll put that one just like so. Oh my goodness, there's the front focal point of my card. And then we've got these as well. So you can also tuck, let's do that. Let's put one of those in here like that. And maybe one down here. Yes, okay. Oh. I feel like a florist. I feel like, um, you know, just arranging things the way you want them. But it, that's the fun part, right? You get to be creative. All right. I don't want to cut up my, cover up my greeting. There. Okay. And this one, I want to just... Yeah, and you actually get a little bit more of a wiggle room with this, the adhesive too. See how I'm lifting these things up? I'm going to use my take your pick tool and get in here and make a little gap for myself. And then I'll just slide that one right in there. Oh, there we go. Okay, loving the colors, loving the shine. Whew. Okay, so the inside of the card. The inside down here, we wanna have a place to actually write. So I have a piece of basic white that's gonna go up here. Okay, so if you want to pull in the stamps, you could stamp your leaves. I'm gonna leave mine plain for now. Maybe I'll stamp some later. I'm just gonna glue this down and we can open up the card this way. Okay, so we're gonna put this one up here. Then I've got another strip, just a one inch strip of that same oxidized paper. That's gonna go down here as a nice little tie-in. You know, I just wanna tie in those veins and that beautiful oxidized paper it is so stunning. I'm gonna put a little one inch strip and that's not much, you know, like when you get your package, a one inch strip, you'll be able to make a lot of cards like that. So let's just pop this open again, like this. There we go. Okay, so we've got our little piece down here. And last but not least, and I also put it, I don't know if you could see that on the camera, but I also put it above that stitched edge right there. So there we've got our white, our distressed, um, what did I call it, distressed? What is the proper name? Let me just grab that. Uh, it's called, I want to call it distress. Yeah, it's called oxidized, oxidized copper, oxidized. It's the embossing folder that's distressed. <laughs> Thank you, Joyce. Thank you so much. So there's the front, there's the inside, but we need an anchor because when the recipient gets this and they want to put it on their mantle because they're going to want to, right? It's so beautiful. It'd make a great fall decoration, wouldn't it? Okay, so we're going to put our greeting here. So this is the stitched a label that I'm using from the autumn leaves dies. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And I'm going to stamp. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Sorry. I'm thankful. And let's move my stuff out of, this, out of the way. So I'm thankful. I'm going to stamp that right at the top of this die like that. And then I've given myself some space down there to put whatever I'm grateful for, right? So, because you've got these other smaller greetings that go together. So the one I've got in my hand is, I'm grateful today and every day. And I truly, truly am grateful for you guys for taking the time to come and spend with me today. 
Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much, you guys. And I'm gonna stamp that with copper clay. So we're tying all of the colors together. I'm grateful today and every day. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna take that and we're gonna pop that up on some dimensionals. I got a couple of dimensionals here. Flip it around. And we're just gonna put this together like so. We're just gonna put that right on top of that colored, that beautiful designer series paper, the oxidized paper, and then that's gonna be the little anchor, okay? So there's the side profile, and then when you close it, it still closes, it still fits in the envelope, but when the recipient gets it, um, hopefully they'll realize that that's how it's supposed to stand up, but you know, it's not a big deal. Um, and then you still have lots and lots of room to write your greetings and you can stamp right there. Now, I haven't used any bling. You could, you could say that the um, oxidized paper is bling, but we can add some bling and I brought in some matching bling. So we have two packages of sequins here. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Mary Jo. Um, this one is called Adhesive Back Sequence Trio. I love it, from the annual catalog. And this one here is also from the annual catalog. It's called Neutrals. So I love the gold. I love the pretty peacock. So I thought, I'm gonna bring in both of these today and add a little bling to my card because we've got gold, kind of coppery um, accents. So you could use you could use this one, right? Or you could use the gold, you could use all of them. And this one has pretty peacock. Oh, so beautiful, I love it. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna add a pretty peacock accent right here. And then we're gonna add, I think I really like this darker brown. The neutral, the neutral one. So let's grab one that has, a, whoops, that one went flying. <laughs> that one went flying. Okay, so one down here, and then I'm gonna put, so the one this is opened, okay, yeah, that's fine. I can put one up here like that. There we have it, my friends. Now, you don't have to buy both. You could put just Pretty Peacock, but like seriously, I think you need all of these sequins because they are gorgeous and they already have the adhesive on them, right? So thank you so much, everybody. I had so much fun making this card. I'm so happy it worked out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> A little risky doing your card live without already having the sample done, but um, it turned out great because the Stampin' Up! products are great, right? It's the products that sell the products. <laughs> they are so beautiful. I mean, how can you resist, right? And those, the vines are just, or veins, not vines, veins are beautiful. So there you have it. I will post the PDF tutorial over on my blog and you guys can recreate this one. I can't wait to see, let me turn you around. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this style. Um, even if you don't have the countryside in dyes, you could use this with the circle, anything larger, like even the color and contour dyes would work with this, this style of card. Um, so such a easy, it's actually very, very easy to do this, right? As long as you remember to put your uh, plate, stop your plate, stop your, your clear plate where you want to stop your cutting. And that's all it is super easy. So thank you for letting me share this uh, fun easel card with you today. I wish you guys a wonderful weekend and I'll be back on Monday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time for my next card video. Take care everyone and if you want to get all of the cut pieces I will be cutting if you place a minimum $60 order with me using my host code which is UND 62 JPE by midnight on Sunday. I'm going to send you all of the cut except for the leaves. The leaves will not be cut, but I'll send you the DSP so you can cut your own uh, veins <laughs> and uh, it, and your own uh, strip here. Like you'll have all the pieces and I'll do the die cutting for you with the countryside in. So you'll get one of those already pre-cut. All you'll have to do is to stamp and do your own leaves, put it together. It'll be super easy. Okay. So, and I have, let's do a little recap. You want to see the other cards I did this week. Let's do a recap because these are the four cards that I'm going to be sending you the pieces. This is the first one I did on Tuesday. Okay. I was playing along with Global Design Project. So this one, and I know the paper is not available right now, but I have some. So I'll be sending you these little strips. Okay. So that's card number one. Card number two 
was Wednesday. It was a book bind. Okay. I know it's backwards on the screen here, but you guys get the gist. So this one, so one, two, <laughs> yesterday I did this one with the basic white thick background and I used some more of the oxidized paper and that one, you're going to need the stamps. I'll send you the die, the nested die and a sequence, all of that. Oh, this one doesn't have stamped. Okay. Let's, let's show you one that's got stamped. This one I stamped on the inside. Okay. So that's three. And then the fourth one is today. Okay. So we've got, let me get them all in my hand here. <laughs> one, two, three, and four. There we go, guys. This is my card sample for this week. My class, uh, classes, live classes on YouTube on they're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> I will post them over there so you can follow along. Once you get your card packages, you'll be able to follow along with the replay on the video to see how I put this together. Because sometimes, you know, just looking at a card, it's hard to know, well, how did you put, put it together, right? So thank you again, everybody. I look forward to hearing from you. If you're interested in my paper share, there's an email going out today. The last day to sign up for paper shares is tomorrow. I'm going to be placing the order tomorrow. Also, I have only three spots left in my uh, retreat here in Calgary in October. So if you're thinking about it, <laughs> and now is the time to sign up. The deadline for that is September 12th. So um, thank you so much, everyone. I'll see you on Monday and take care and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.